President Donald Trump on Tuesday announced plans to appoint another batch of loyalists to federal advisory boards and commissions as he moves to reward his allies in the final stages of his presidency. These positions are all highly sought after. It's the reason why the outgoing president uses it as a chit or a recognition because they know they are doing a consequential favor for somebody, Max Steyer, president of CEO of nonprofit group Partnership for Public Service, told Bloomberg, adding that some of Trump's appointments are not standard practice. While most of the boards are largely ceremonial or marginal in power, Trump has used them to send powerful symbolic messages. Amid a purge of defense, national security and intelligence officials after the election, Trump cleared out various Pentagon advisory boards and stacked them with allies like former House Speaker Newt Gingrich and former campaign aides Corey Lewandowski and David Bossi, despite the latter two having scant experience in defense policy. Paul Light, a professor of public service at New York University and an expert in government bureaucracy, told Bloomberg that Trump makes no effort whatsoever to match names with interest, and that the appointments are about prestige and favors owed. Light told the Associated Press that the appointments are unseemly, compared to those of past presidents, who have similarly appointed loyalists to boards, but nowhere near the same magnitude as Trump, and that nobody does these things with more politicization than Trump. Trump has come under fire for giving positions to former aides with alleged ties to white supremacists. He appointed former speechwriter Darren Beatty, who was fired in 2018 after reports emerged about him attending a conference with white nationalists, to a board focused on preserving Holocaust-related sites, which the Anti-Defamation League called, absolutely outrageous. He also appointed former aide Sebastian Gorka, who reportedly has links to a Hungarian group with Nazi ties, which he denies, to a board that oversees scholarships and programs pertaining to national security. Some of Trump's recent appointees can be removed by the Biden administration when they take office, while others will be secure in their positions. Bossi and Lewandowski, for example, do not have fixed terms and thus can be dislodged come January. By contrast, appointees to the Kennedy Center Board of Trustees have a fixed six-year term.